Okay. If you just joined us, there's two examples that are done already. All right, let's try another one. India. Can it be minus five? No. Okay, let's try another one. Uh, let me do this and I'll give you a question. Sulfur doesn't apply, it's only minus two. <coughs> this only is for these right here. Just it only applies, a nerve pair effect only applies right down here. It does not apply to what you see in gray, the non metals. Okay? So in everything in gray, uh, pretty much doesn't apply. It could apply to selenium, but I'm going to ask you something that's right on the staircase. Now, there was a question. Yeah, yeah. Can you explain why again? Why? For why are those charges? Uh, I don't know. Where these charges come from? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so let's. Normally, you should be able to come up with the largest positive number. Let's take indium. It's if you lose this electron, that one, and that one, plus three. Right. So this is a plus three column. This is a plus four, plus five, etc. The smaller of the positive numbers comes from what's called the inert pair. So the smaller positive number is actually the inert pair. It's two less than the larger number always. So if it just if indium just loses this electron, plus one. If tin just loses this one and this one, plus two. If bismuth loses this one, this one, and this one, plus three. That's where the smaller positive comes from. Now, some of them also have a negative. That's only if it's a semi-metal. That is, on the staircase, could it have a negative charge. Because non-metals are the only ones that have negative charge. The metals only have positive charges. Semi-metals split the difference. They're ambi. They go both ways. So antimony is an example. Let's, I think I haven't done that one yet. So let's do antimony. For the, what's the largest positive charge for antimony? You should see plus five. One, two, three, four, five. We're not losing d electrons in this exercise. So the smaller positive number. Yeah, you should get plus three. One, two, three. Lost. Is there a negative number? Yes, because it's right on the staircase. What is it? Minus three from one, two, three. Losing those three electrons. And this is actually pretty useful. These actually what predict well the actual common charges. It doesn't tell you of the list which is the most common, but it tells you some of the most common ones. And I'll actually post on my website uh, common charges for the whole periodic table if you're nerdy like that. Okay. Do you want me to do another one? You're pretty satiated. One more? Okay. You're, you're sick of it. Okay.